Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do problem number 21 of the chapter 6 review. So the first thing we're going to look at is the fact that MN, which is this line here, and PQ, which is this line here, okay, are parallel. Okay, so that means that ST is a transversal and SQ is a transversal. So let's look at what I know right now. I know that I can find this angle over here Okay, because it's right next to this angle and together they form a straight line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 180 degrees minus 114 and that gives me 66 degrees. So this angle here is 66 degrees. Um, I'm doing that because I know if I find that angle right there that I can find angle 3 and also angle 2. I can find angle 3 because um, the 66 degrees is inside the parallel lines um, on the alternate side of the transversal. So if this angle here is 66, then this angle 3, which is alternate interior to 66, is also 66. Okay? So that's why I did that one first. So that's 66 degrees. So the measure of angle 3 is equal to 66 degrees. Now, if you look into the center, you can see that there is a triangle. And the sum of all the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So if I do the measure of angle 2 plus 66 degrees plus 62 degrees, it equals 180 degrees. Or the measure of angle 2 plus 128 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Subtract 128, subtract 128, I get the measure of angle 2 is equal to 52 degrees. So, measure of angle 2 is 52 degrees. Now, um, what's nice is that um, in the beginning we talked about how SQ is a transversal. Well, angle 2, which is the 52 degrees, is on the inside of the parallel lines, on the alternate side of the transversal, as angle number one. So if the measure of angle two is 50 degrees, then the measure of angle one is also 50 degrees. So again, I have measure of angle one is equal to 52 degrees, measure of angle two is equal to 52 degrees, and the measure of angle three is 66 degrees. This is just one way to solve this problem. There's a couple other ways, including using um, straight lines, or the uh, triangle exterior angle theorem, but this is just one way.